Okay, in this tutorial we are going to discuss few constructs of the object-oriented programming. The first one is inheritance. Inheritance basically inherits the state and the behavior from other classes. Overriding is overriding the state or the behavior in the subclass. Polymorphism, as the name specifies, taking many different forms. Let's take an example and understand these concepts. So we have a class called person and it has two attributes or two states called first name and the last name. It also has the behavior of printing that particular person. We have a subclass called professor and professor also has the behavior of print. The professor is a person. Professor is also a person. In this case, professor inherits the state from person, which is first name and last name. So when we create an object of professor, we have access to the first name and last name. We don't have to create it again. The professor here is called the child class and person is called the parent class. And we also refer to this as the uh, subclass and this one as the superclass, many different names. Okay, what is the advantage of doing this? Once we create the person, we can have any number of the subclasses for the person. For example, we have a student. Student is a person, so let's add a student here. So there we go, we added a student, and student has the first name, last name, and they also have the graduation year and the GPA. GPA is nothing but a grade point average which is used in United States. So here is the code. The person class has the first name and the last name and it has a constructor and it takes two parameters first name last name and creates the person object and it has the behavior which is a method called print all it does is prints the first name and the last name. And we have the professor object, professor object, class professor, which extends the person. That's how Java denotes uh, extension, uh, saying that professor is also a person. And we have the constructor here, which just calls the super first name, last name. Super has a special meaning in Java. Super means the parent class. In this case, super means the person because person is our parent class. And it's also creating a method called print. So basically this, the signature of this method is same as the print method in person. So that means it's overwriting the behavior in person. All it does is it prints professor details and it calls super.print. Super, as we know, is the person, which is our base class. So super.print, when it calls, it goes and then prints the first name and last name. We have a test method, uh, test class, to test this uh, whole thing. Uh, all it does is it creates a professor called knowitall equals new professor pre Peter knowitall and it goes ahead and then uh, calls the print method. Let's go ahead and run it. When we run it, it says professor details, Peter know it all. What's happening here is it calls the print method of the know it all. Let's go to the professor and here it says professor details. It printed the first line here and next it calls the super dot print. It goes to the professor and prints first name and the last name. So this is good. Let's see what happens if we remove this method. What will happen? When we call the print, it goes to the professor, there is no print method, it goes to the person and then calls this print method. Peter know it all. So professor is inheriting all the print method also. So 
we don't want that we want to override it we want to override the behavior of the person we want to hide it and then when it comes here it calls this and then this in turn calls the person so that's about uh, overriding let's look at the student class which is another example for the inheritance student extends the person and we have added two additional properties which is graduation and gpa and we have a similar thing here which constructs the student and it uh, calls initially super first name and last name which initializes the first name last name in the super class which is the person uh, the print method is interesting again uh, it prints the student details then super dot print and it prints the uh, base class uh, properties and then it prints the properties that were added in this class let's take and uh, let's see how we use this method uh, we have a test inheritance uh, class all it does is it creates a new student sam walton graduating in 2012 with a grade point average currently is 3.8 so we say sam dot print as we know it prints the if you go to the student here it prints the student details and the uh, first name and last name from the super class and then the graduation year and gpa this is inheritance so let's take a look at the polymorphism let's go back to the graphic for a second in person we have a method called print this is overridden in both student as well as professor so here we go the class uh, the class it creates two students and a professor it goes through the loop and it calls the person dot print when it calls the person dot print on the student java automatically knows that it's it's the student it calls the print method of the student and so let's go ahead and execute it and see the output here it first comes to the student here and then prints sam walton it 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 is printing the student details it sees again in the next thing it sees the student it prints bill gates and when it goes to the next iteration in the loop it prints the professor detail because it knows that the next object is professor it automatically calls the print method of the professor so that's basically the polymorphism polymorphism is is taking different uh, behaving differently depending on the object these two things inheritance and polymorphism are very powerful constructs mm -hmm.